Hey awesome ones, Heather here. If you're like me, you're usually pressed for time, you're trying to run out the door, but you want to cover up some of those age spots and you know put on a bit of foundation. Well I found a powder foundation and the matching concealer and it goes on fast, it goes on in a flash and I'm running out the door. So I really want to tell you about it and review the product and it all starts in just a few seconds. So I heard about the Estee Lauder Powder Foundation and as you know I really like the uh, liquid foundation and I did do a review on the liquid foundation and what I'm going to do is put the link to that video at the end of this video so you can check out the liquid uh, foundation as well but in this video I'm talking about this one. Now this powder and the way that it applies is something really, really different than the liquid. And I know that the liquid, it was great, it covered up and it lasted all day, but can the powder do the same thing? So you might be asking, hey, you know, why do you need the powder foundation if you love the liquid so much? And the answer is speed. I feel the need for speed. <laughs> Usually in the mornings I do and I got to get out the door and you know that liquid foundation It's messy. I, I just I don't know. I got to do a lot of blending with it I got to wait for it to dry and uh, This one I'm out the door in a flash So I have foundation on now So let's do a presto change -o and get rid of the concealer the foundation the blush and the contouring Ah. <laughs> Hey, I'm just trying to keep it real for all of you and as most of you know I've got these like inner I don't know they're purpley parts inside my eyes I've got age spots I've got discoloration in my face you know all the lovely things that us older women get but anyway I'm gonna cover them all up and with the concealer I'm doing something just a little bit different than I usually do and that's because I'm using a powder foundation and some of you might be saying hey you know what Heather I thought you didn't like powder or powder foundations well I don't like setting powder you know that kind of talic powder that just sets everything uh, this is a powder foundation and it's more silky and it gives great coverage and yeah, you'll see what I mean in just a few seconds. So the first thing I have to do is my under eye concealer and it's very important that you buy the same brand as the powder foundation that you're using and also the same color or very close to the same color and I'll tell you about that shortly. So today I'm going to be featuring the Estee Lauder Double Wear powder foundation and also to go with it is the Estee Lauder concealer that goes with it as well. Now this um, concealer it's very matte when you put it on so um, yeah let me just start to apply it just now for you. So this color is uh, let me just see here light medium neutral 2N. So let's just, uh, it's got a really nice little applicator. I just sort of took a little bit off the end there. And where's my mirror? And what I'm going to do is, you know, that purpley part in here and all along here. Now, the one thing I have found out with this uh, concealer is it dries pretty fast. So uh, you got to be speedy when you're putting it on. But this whole video is about putting on speedy foundation. So that's good. So I'm just going to go in here. That's it. What? <laughs> and now I'm going to use this handy dandy concealer brush and uh, just go in here and along here. And that's Hurricane doing a little bark over there. <laughs> Quiet on the set, dog. Anyway, and you can already see the difference between. Bill, can you see the difference between the two eyes there? So. There you go. Let's, I'm going to finish off the other eye for you and I'll be right back. So while that concealer is drying a little bit, we can put on the powder foundation and you're going, what? Wait a minute, Heather, you forgot to do all your age spots and everything. And that's the twist with this powder foundation is I put the concealer on after I put on the powder foundation. 
That's why the concealer color as a match is so really important. So as I mentioned, I'm using this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Matte Powder Foundation. Whew, okay, <laughs> so that's what I'm using. And look at this beautiful, I love it. This um, cosmetic case that you kind of get with it. You've got the powder in there, you have a mirror, and then underneath here, you've got the little sponge. And uh, let me tell you a story about the little sponge. Um, the little sponge is two-sided. I didn't realize that yesterday when I was testing out the wearability of this. Um, but if you want to soak the sponge and use it damp, you're going to get more of a sheer coverage. But the other side here, it's kind of furry and it's for um, putting on the powder when you just want to put on the powder and not have it damped and that will give you more coverage and I need some more coverage so that's what I'm going to do. Now I want to show you another application or applicator I guess I should say and that's using a big brush like this and I'll tell you if I'm just sort of going grocery shopping and yes I do wear my makeup for grocery shopping and I don't need hardly any face makeup I just want to feel a little more confident I don't know while well, looking for carrots and broccoli anyway um, all I do is I use this brush and I just dab a little bit on there and I'll just show you how I apply it. So you'll notice that even with this a little amount of powder it starts to really even out my um, my skin tone a little bit. It's also doing some coverage. I'll still need some concealer but um, yeah there you go. So let's make the uh, coverage even better by using this furry part of the uh, sponge. Not this part, <laughs> this part anyway. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit, take a little bit off of there as much as I want. And then since that's a lot there, I'm going to go over those, look at that, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go over some of the spots that really need some work. Not so much, like this is the area that I really need the coverage on. Not so much on my chin. I need coverage on my nose. And do not, whatever you do, do not go underneath the eyes because if you put this powder on top of the matte concealer, it's going to give you a really wrinkled look. It's going to dry it out. So don't do that. So I learned that the hard way. But that's why I do these reviews for you so that you won't have to worry about some of the mistakes that you make the first time but uh, yeah okay now obviously I still have my spots and now I'm going to use the concealer all right so let's put the concealer over top of those spots and I'll tell you I have tried it both ways underneath the powder and above when I put it underneath the powder um, when I put the powder on top after a little while, I don't know, maybe it's oxidizing or maybe the powder is somehow drying out the concealer. But what ends up happening is I, I end up seeing the dark spot again. So uh, we don't want that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to use a brush like this. It's kind of a flat brush. Just take a little bit off the top. Now remember, this dries pretty fast, but it's just like painting, you know, paint by numbers or something like that. Do you, do you remember paint by numbers? What did you paint by numbers that mom put on the wall and kept up there for like five years? I'd love to know. <laughs> anyway, if you even remember that. And there you go. So you can see, I mean, it's not going to take it away completely, completely, but it certainly is helping to disguise it. And this one over here, helping to disguise it, this one up here. And I'm just going to continue doing my paint by numbers and I'll be right back. So check out the coverage and how it's really evened out my skin tone. Now I do like the liquid. Um, it covers even more uh, with the liquid. 
But if I, like I said, if I don't have to do a photo shoot or anything like that, this is working great for me. I'm putting it on in half the time of the liquid. And also, since I use my hand for a palette with the liquid, I don't have all the mess or cleaning up of the sponges afterwards. Oh, and I know I'm looking a little pale, so what I'm going to do is show you in just a few seconds how I put on the contour and the blush, and let's put on a little bit of lipstick too. Um, and by the way, if you're looking for the products um, that I'm wearing in this video, they're below in the description underneath the video, but we've got something new for you, and uh, we don't want you to keep looking and looking for the links, so over at Awesome Over Fit, no, Sorry, over at Amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50. Amazon gave us our own storefront and we're really excited about that. And what we have that's new is we have what Heather wore recently in fashion or makeup. And if we can't find the exact fashion, what we try to do is find something really, really similar. So uh, yeah, there's going to be a link for the uh, Amazon storefront that I just mentioned to you. And that's going to make things a lot easier for you. And uh, the one thing about the, the makeup too that I find is if you say, hey, that's not my color, I don't really like it. This Estee Lauder has like 30 different choices. So just click on any one of them and then you can pick up the color that you want. And by the way, um, kind of required to say that we do make a little bit of commission on this. And from the bottom of my heart, I really want to thank you for that because um, every little bit helps to keep us going with these videos. We're so excited to keep on going for another year for you and uh, all of you that are helping out there. You let us know in the comments. Um, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. But on to the contouring and the blush. So I'm using a brush like this for the blush. And let's put on a little bit of blush here. And the apples of my cheeks or whatever they're called. <laughs> now, I also like to put just a little bit of blush kind of in the T-zone and down and, and here and here um, because I just find it just adds a little bit more evenness when you're doing the blush. Now, I also want to um, do the contouring on my face and I'm using the City Bronzer Maybelline I think it is number 300 with a little brush like this and first of all you're gonna go ah that looks terrible but I'm going to blend it so I'm just gonna go down my cheekbones like this see you're gonna go ah but underneath the jowls oh my gosh I really still hate that word jowls I'm even gonna do a little bit here and you can see that's really bringing in my cheekbones nicely here. All right, now I'm going to use a brush like this and just kind of even it out a little bit so it doesn't look like a stark line. We don't want a stark line. We certainly don't want a line under here, but we do want to hide some of this stuff here. Jowls and a little bit like that. So I put on a little more mascara and I'm using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Black Mascara. You can use brown or whatever. I love this. This is, you know, so inexpensive and uh, it really lasts all day and it doesn't really transfer. Well, it doesn't transfer underneath my eyes. So, and it, and it also washes off really quickly at night. So there you go. That's another little bonus there and that'll be in the... Um, in the links as well. Now a lot of you uh, like the lipstick I've been wearing lately and I certainly need some lipstick on right now so I'm just going to quickly um, do an outline of my lips. This is rather difficult <laughs> without a close-up mirror but we'll get her done. I've got really thin lips, so uh, I usually have to put a little bit like that on there. And now I am using, actually it's Dior Addict, A-D-D-I-C-K, I know, wait, A-D-D-I-C-T, um, Dior Addict. And it's a lovely lipstick. It's a little bit more on the higher end, I know that, but uh, really, really like this lipstick. And then there you go. 
and yesterday I had this powder foundation on for over 12 hours and it really held up well. Not as well as the liquid did, that lasted a lot longer, but uh, you know, I'm really, really happy with this and it's staying on my makeup table. And I have oily skin, so I'm still working with the Revlon Anti-Shine. You know, I love this product and that's going to be in my purse. I am not going to take the powder, the foundation powder with me because the more that I keep applying just to blot the oiliness, um, the more I'm really going to look blotchy and cakey. So you know this is my favorite uh, secret weapon, let's say, for makeup. And you can see how much I love it. Now, I've had a few of you tell me that you can't find this in drugstores anymore. I have a feeling they might be discontinuing it. So we do have the link at our Amazon store, but I am on the lookout to find something else just in case they run out of stock. So we can still look a little polished, have our under eyes, you know, concealed, some of those age spots. And this is a great product with a little swoosh here of powder and a little dabble do you of contour contouring. Um, it's a great product to have as you're running out the door because it gives you just that little bit of confidence. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention to you that I bought these products, the concealer, the liquid foundation, everything with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. I had seen other women doing some videos on uh, the Estee Lauder powder foundation and I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. Um, I'm not sponsored. So what is my review? Solid thumbs up. I really, really like it. So uh, I know it's a little bit higher end, you know, when you go into the drugstore, but I really think it's worth it. And I think you're worth it too. And someone else that uh, you give a big thumbs up to is our little Yorkie, Hurricane. And when Hurricane comes on the scene, he just kind of reminds me to talk about upcoming videos and on this channel for beauty and fashion, I've got more makeup reviews and also I'm going to be featuring some of my favorite denim and jeans and yes, I'm going to include some skinny jeans. I'm a, a more mature woman can definitely still wear skinny jeans and I'll show you all about that in an upcoming video. So I can't wait to bring those to you. And you know, every single day, I don't know if you know this, but uh, I have an Instagram account now and I post every day and it's, it's for women over 50. Just, just check out Awesome Over 50 in the search. And I also do stories, you know those little videos, I do those as well. And over on our other channel, youtube.com slash awesome over 50 inspiration, we have some comfy home tips and also some food and nutrition. And we're planning a trip to Italy and we can't wait to share some of those videos with you of our travels and treks in Italy. And in the meantime, I'm just so glad that you're joining me here. You know, I want us all over 50 <laughs> to feel a little more glamorous, a little bit more youthful, and a lot more awesome.